What do I do when I'm not watching the Packers losing because of refs, getting angry, getting pissed, uh, bitching about it on the internet? I'm making fun of people's religions. I get it. I'm an asshole. I'm a fat asshole. <laughs> I understand. I quite honestly think that the Jews are possibly the nicest religion out of all the religions because they're not so goddamn preachy. However, when it when I when I know that there's a film out, I have to see it. I saw Last Ounce of Courage, and believe me, it is it is far worse than I could have even imagined. And that's coming a lot for me. I don't remember anyone telling me that freedom had to be fought for and defended. A man thinks different when it's his boy going into harm's way. He gave his life for his country. What are we doing? What are you doing? That was just a clip of what I had to endure with with Last Ounce of Courage last week. Another one of these Chuck Norris uh, approved films. Okay, we have that minute now, buddy. You have gotten it completely square, buddy. So we can't really trust you on anything that's approved by you nowadays. Unless it's a gym product or it's an endorsement on, you know, TV. But other than that, your movies suck. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, Tyler, why are you even wasting your time with this religious film? You know it's going to be bad. It's going to be shitty. It's going to be, you know, it's probably on Fox News. You've probably seen the commercial somewhere. You know, it's going to be bad. I, I admit it, I am an atheist. I don't care. I in, have enjoyed a couple religious films. I really thought, um, you know, the anti-Semite Mel Gibson's film, The Passion of the Christ, was a very good film. I also thought uh, the film with Moses, but like a bunch of films with Moses, have been excellent. There's been plenty of movies, and who would have ever guessed Val Kilmer could play a fucking Moses? Fuck this planet. Oh yeah, we also got Charles and Heston. My point is that just because something is faith-based doesn't mean it's a bad movie. There's been plenty of good movies, and, you know, I mean, it's just it's just a different form of storytelling. But for every good religious film that is made, there's 50 other ones that are made that are horrible, horrible, horrible propaganda films. And this makes Christmas with a capital C look very t look very tame and look very nice and the last ounce of courage attempts to hide their agenda in a post 9/11 perplexity and it doesn't even include fucking Daniel Baldwin both characters are average joes and now they're turned mayors of course but with the town this small it only consists mainly of them saving cats from trees and book barbecues they are both ultimately placed by antagonist who is a forward-thinking outside world. This normally is cloaked in sleaziness and a three-piece suit. They fumble with this with Daniel Baldwin, who ultimately turns into a big fat crybaby. But Fred Williamson, let's just be honest, he looks like a motherfucking badass, and he's reprising his role as a motherfucking hammer. What's his name? We call him the Hammer. DJ Hammer, the next heavyweight contender. Hell, this movie does even a wink and nod to his fucking nickname in that 1972 film. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't even name him this. To a white man's town. Bringing black man's law. He's black. He's brutal. He's boss. Fred Williamson is boss nigga. You get my point, but Fred, Fred Williamson in this is a badass. Well, for a while. <laughs> Sadly, even that wears thin, much like the plot. I'm getting a bit off track, but the gist of the movie is that some old white guy played by a bad Ted Danson impersonator goes mad and after his son dies in some undisclosed war, 
goes on some First Amendment postal rampage. By First Amendment, I mean the exact same thing Mayor Dan did in Christmas with a capital C. Shoving their religion down other people's fucking throats. Did I mention the boys in these movies look incredibly gay? Blow, blow. Sorry, I don't care. But if you hear the same juvenile remarks from this fucking movie, you do the exact same fucking thing. The only difference between them and me now is that they're getting a paycheck and a nice pat on the head by Mittens Romney. Oh, and before you start seeing that this movie's nonpartisan, and that's all about the freedom of religion and expression and all that, and that they're doing what, they're, what they want to do, and it's not any political figure in it, check out his fucking Facebook. Yeah, the writer and the director's Facebook. Looks pretty clear there. We can make this all go away.